Super good. Hi, this is Laura from Feeling Fabulous, and today we're going to make an alluring apple stuffed acorn squash. I love squash, especially when it's in season in the fall and winter. Just as a little tidbit, acorn squash is actually not a vegetable, it's listed as a fruit. It is a nutty, buttery, sweet flavor. I'm going to actually stuff it with farro, which is high in fiber and protein. It's a grain also. And how we cook it is quite easy. And most people are actually afraid of cooking acorn squash, they just want to buy the the pre-cut version and make it simple, but it's it's quite it's quite an easy vegetable or I mean it's a vegetable fruit to cook. You just cut it in half and you'll see the seeds on the inside, which you can just scoop out very simply. You can save it for later if you want to roast them. They look just like the pumpkin seeds. You just want to cut a small part of the stem off so that when you stand it back upright after we roast it, that it will actually stand on its own and not turn over with the stuffing in it. Acorn squash is a great fruit. It's got a lot of fiber, vitamin C, which is great for your immune system, especially in the winter. It's got vitamin B and potassium. It's got all these wonderful nutrients. It's great for your gut because of all the insoluble fiber. And on top of that, we're adding in farro, which is also more fiber. And the farro is quite easy to make. It's a one to three cup ratio. You make one cup of farro to three cups of water. I'm only making one serving, so I'm using only one fourth cup of farro to three fourths cup of vegetable broth. I find that the vegetable broth makes it tastier and more savory. The salt is an option. And because I'm using vegetable broth and low sodium instead of water to cook my farro or to saute up my vegetables, I find that I don't need salt. However, you can add salt, a pinch of salt to the broth while you're cooking the farro if you want, or you can add a pinch of salt to the sauteed vegetables. I tend to not because it's already in the vegetable broth. And I will combine the two in a pot and let it boil and then put the cover on it and let it simmer for about 15 minutes until the farro gets soft. While that's cooking, we are going to place a small amount of vegetable broth in a pan on a medium heat and we're going to saute up our onions. We're going to make sure that they get translucent, which is a pearly white. And when we do that, we also enhance the sweetness of the onion. So that takes a few minutes. We're going to just stir it occasionally so that it doesn't stick to the pan. Then we're going to add in our chopped up apple. We're going to add in the cranberries. We're gonna mix that together for a few minutes while the farro is cooking. And once that's complete, we're going to add the mixture to the pan and we're gonna mix it together for a few minutes, add in our maple syrup, and then you have this like nutty, crisp, sweet flavor. And so the combination is just amazing. It's also, it's very savory as well as sweet at the same time. And when you're looking for a al healthier alternative for your sweet tooth, I actually come and eat this kind of food because I find it more satisfying, filling, less calories than let's say a piece of cake. And especially this time of year when everybody's bringing in cakes and cookies to the workplace, I like a healthier version that I'm also satisfied with. It's a very inexpensive way of making a healthy meal. Now that we've mixed everything together, the acorn squash, we've already roasted it at 350 degrees. I have a convection oven, so I use convection roast. You can bake it instead. And once it's completed, and it'll be nice and soft. You just remove it from the, um, the oven, let it cool for a few minutes so that you can actually plate it upright because when we cook the, the acorn squash, we're gonna actually turn it over. So the skin is on the outside and it keeps the juices in and it keeps it from getting dry. Once we're completed with that and we've plated it, then we just scoop our mixture in into the center that we've carved out and we have this wonderful buttery, flavory, sweet option um, as, a, as a healthy meal that took 30 minutes and makes a wonderful one serving. One serving actually is just half an acorn. I, that's all you need because it's quite filling. You don't need to eat so much when you're eating high dense nutrient foods. You know, it also has protein in it, but you know, you're eating a very dense nutrient dish and you don't really need as much to feel satisfied and full. It's so good. You've got the nutty flavor, the chewiness of the farro, 
the crunch of the apple. So you can taste all the flavors together and they blend so well with the acorn squash. And you've noticed that the acorn squash is so soft that you don't, there's nothing to cut. So good. So thank you again for joining us at Feeling Fabulous. If you want us to make a healthier version of your favorite recipe, comment below. And I look forward to seeing you again at Feeling Fabulous. Have a great holiday. Take care.